how to get money. All you I do is told drop you. It. Right oh, there, your same freaking rank as me. Evan, you need to get on. Life on uh, how do we start this interview, JJ? You, you started the interview just asking why she's leaving video game criticism. I've been doing it for close to 10 years now, and I'm interested in seeing what else can be done with my time on this planet. Are you tired of it? They considered saying something publicly can, and... Can you hear me? What are you doing? Yo, you... Some... Enjoy them. Um... Uh, Bye, There's something wrong with video games, I think there is. Um, Interesting situation, if nothing else. Um, we yo! Hold on, I'm just muted. It, it did, it made me... Alright, yo! Alright, stop. But they affect your real world behavior and that they're somehow poisoning the youth or any of those dated perspectives, but I... I think that there is a lot of money, a lot of power, fantasy, a lot of violence, and a lot of privilege uh, wrapped up in commercial video games that uh, I think this has been, you know, us sort of having to pay for that. Okay, now, just imagine. What would you like to do? Where would you like to go? That's just it. I get what I want when I want it. I need something more. But what else is there? I think, first of all, from a corporate perspective, silence equals... Yeah. How are you doing? How you doing? Do you ever just stand around in your apartment or do you always drive around and crash into things and just, just drive around, but not crash. Do people uh usually talk to you like this? Um, no, only the people I know. Hey, what's going on? I want to ask you what's um. Hold on. <laughs> I don't know, mom is mom. I feel like Uncle Matt or Uncle Greg would play something like that. Yeah, but it's just too long. I feel like I'm wasting my time. I'm not, I'm not saying it's any less of a waste of time than this, but it feels like it more. Bad day indeed when the military has no use for good men like you. You deserve to fight for a military that's as effective as you are. That one's not mine. I threw one out there. I wouldn't feel like that. No, I don't think so. I probably would feel like it.
It's a very misogynist backlash. We are not meant to be treated with respect. Something even the casual female gamer yeah. is sadly familiar with. Watch what happens when the men in this online session of Counter-Strike learn that there's a woman playing in their midst. Are you an archaeologist? Because I have a big bone. So she's examining this is pretty lady. If I, if I subscribe, I'm going to give a big kiss. It's less brutal than what Anita and Brianna experienced, but it does show the ease with which offensive behavior is tossed out at women. i give you my skins for since... You know, like, unpack that a little bit, this idea that the game creates labor. What makes that labor addictive or maybe more appealing than real-world labor? Yeah, and I'm trying to recall all the all the things about it yeah. uh you kind of had these like weekly missions yeah, yeah. that you had to do uh or you didn't have to do but it kind of felt like you had to do it because you didn't want to fall behind like well it was like you had to do it like they became available once a week and you could only do it one time a week. So you could do it at any time but The, the face that I'm presenting in a very phenomenal, logical way through the voice chat and through the screen, the sort of self that is mediated through these technologies felt very uncomfortable to me. Even aside from my achievements, just the sort of the talking and the breathing and the, the mannerisms, um, I felt uncomfortable sharing with someone in the real world because it felt like that wasn't, it felt divorced from the person I am in the real world. Oh yeah, 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 he, he taking it, he taking care of baby like I would feel even more self-conscious playing with someone who I actually do know and am friends with and can communicate with in real life, but if we interact in the game sphere, then suddenly I feel like I'm kind of standing naked in front of them. I'm like presenting my... I approach games the way if I approach any art. And it could be fine art or it could be a piece of music, which is, is this thing gonna grab me and force me to think a little bit differently? Either about the world, about myself, or how I even frame the way that I'm thinking.